Hi there, this is Nancy Christie Moore again, and today we're going to be talking about more collaging with rice papers, and uh, we're going to go on to what happens after you collage your rice papers onto your canvas or paper. So if you'll come over here to the table, we'll get started. Here we have a collage of rice papers on a freshly painted surface. It's all dry now. So while the paper is dry, what we can do is we can use some of our dry media, such as our oil pastels, or Karen Dash, to make some marks on our page before we paint. So oil pastel is good because oil and water don't mix, right? So we had this before on our resist techniques, but it's, it's even better when you put the oil pastel over the rice paper collage because what happens is you have a little bit of texture for this and it just makes some different marks. are kind of exciting after you paint over them. Okay, so we've done that and now the Karen Dash is another type of mark. We can wet the Karen Dash What's going to happen with the Karen Dash, it's going to be feathery where we put the watercolor. Okay, so we've got that done and now we're ready to apply the watercolor. I'm going to start with some warm or really hot color. One of my favorite colors is opera and this is watercolor now. You can do this with acrylic too. But we're going to just go over it and see where the watercolor is going everywhere but where the oil pastel is because the oil pastel is resisting it. So we're making our watercolor, or our painting, have a little more depth by using the rice paper and also by using the oil pastel and the Karen Dash. Now we don't have to put these colors everywhere. As you can see, I'm leaving a lot of spaces. And I always paint out to the edge. That's just a foible I have. I don't like busy edges, so I like to take care of that right off the bat. Right now, I probably won't put another color in. I'll put a little bit of cool color give you some of this cobalt teal. I'm going to try not to get it in the same place where I have the... I can put it right up to the edge of the pink. That'll be good. Let a little of it blend together, but I don't want to mix it too much because then my colors will be all dirty. I'm just showing you what happens when you can paint over your rice paper after you've put it on the page.
Many beautiful things can happen when you use these techniques with the rice paper collage. You can build it up. There are no limits to how many layers you can put of the rice paper or paint back into it. So I want you to go and try this and happy painting.